Hey everybody, it's Compelp. Thank you for watching this video, which is part 8 of my 3D Studio Max tutorials for beginners, or series for beginners. Um, yeah, so you guys have learned about the shapes, uh, how you can kind of model with those. Now we're in for the fun. This is my favorite way of modeling. Uh, we're going to dive into the basics today. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much modeling with our standard primitives. Remember how there were vertices points and there were segments and the whole spline itself while using those shapes? Well, now we're going to start diving into different things in these geometric shapes, okay, these uh, 3D objects. So let me go ahead and make a box in our top viewport. Okay, it doesn't matter the size. Great, I'm going to, you know, size up here and Z up. And I can actually, you know, of course, edit the way this looks. You know, just trying to get you guys familiar. Now, this is where the length segments, width, and height segments all come into play. I'm going to hit F4 so I can start seeing these segments as I add them. You know, if, I, if I'm adding them, let me hit F4. If I add them, you can see them. Oh, snap. What's up with this one? Uh, top. No, nope, front, actually. If I start adding them, you can see in, the, uh, in my different viewports that it, they're getting added, okay? Uh, but in my perspective view, which is the way I like to see them, it's you can't see anything. So let's go ahead, activate that viewport, and press F4. There we go. Now we can start seeing in real time what's going on. It's great. I'm going to press J to get rid of that outline thing that I don't like. Okay, so I have 644. Four, uh, there, 466. Six. Great. <laughs> okay, so let's actually make this bigger. And, uh, well... What can we do with this, Jerry? I, I don't understand. If I go over to Modify Panel, I have a box, and I don't have anything to select. Well, this is where it gets fun. We can actually go to our modifier list and go down to Edit Mesh. Boom, or Edit Poly, too, but I like Edit Mesh. Let's go down to Edit Mesh. Um, yeah. Now, there's a quicker way to making this an Edit Mesh, but you lose something, okay? And I'll go over that in a bit. But in the meantime, Edit Mesh. You know what? I want my box to be a little bit... Mm, there we go. A little bit like that. Maybe a little bit shorter. I don't know. Okay, so let's go back to Edit Mesh. And let's go ahead and open up this plus sign. And whoa, look at that. Now we have our vertex, edge, face, polygons, and elements. Uh, let's go to vertex. And look at that. Now we can see these vertice points on this box. I can actually select these vertice points now. And if I hit W, whoa, look at that. Now I can control each of these vertice points. This is my favorite way of modeling. Okay, by actually using these geometric shapes. Okay, so you can select multiple points and start doing that. And I mean that's fun, right? It's all it's all great. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab a few of these suckers and let's just bring those in. Okay, just as a side note, let's say you model and you see how like I'm overlapping. That is no bueno. That is not good. That is some ugly, ugly, ugly modeling. If you do that in a studio and you turn in your assignment and it looks like this, you will get fired on the spot because, well, that is no good. <laughs> it's, I mean, it may make some pretty cool stuff. You're like, whoa, look what I've done. Yeah, that looks amazing. It looks so cool. Look at this. It looks all jagged and futuristic and wow, I'm loving this. Well, you will get fired if you are working in a professional studio or something. Because if we render that out, by the way, you've never seen a render before, but if we render this out by clicking this teapot up here, it looks like crap. So you don't want to do that, okay? Always, always, always uh, make sure that you stay within the boundaries, okay? So it doesn't get all corrupted like that, okay? So, yeah, that's another reason why you always want to orbit. Let's say uh looks great over here. Let's just say it looks good. And you want to orbit around. Oh, it looks like crap on that side. Whoops. Okay, so it's a good reason to uh, to orbit around always after you uh, move things around. So you can make sure everything looks good. Anyways, so wow, you know, we've already, this was a box before? Like, wow, it looks kind of crazy now, you know? Let's go ahead and try something else. Let's try an edge. What is an edge, Jerry? Well, it is actually these lines. See this line right here? That line. Well, that's what an edge is. You can start selecting multiple edges and, you know, move those up. And after you've moved those up, you can actually grab these two vertices here and start moving those up. And, you know, you can start making crazy things. All right, so we have our edge and we have our vertex. Uh, what is a face? Let's go to face, and you can actually start selecting these, these triangles, which is a face. I don't normally use faces when I'm editing or modeling, okay, because that can kind of get messy. I use polygons, which selects the whole square or the whole 
polygon there, of course, you know, that's what it's called. Okay, and that's really what you do there. So there you go, now you're starting to model with uh, these things. Great. An element, it just selects the whole thing. Which, uh, eh, I mean, can't really do much there. Okay, elements really come in handy. Like me, I used an element when I converted a, uh, you can convert, remember how we made the spline and we extruded it? You can actually convert that down to a geometric shape so we can art, start editing the vertices, edges, and faces and stuff. And I'll show you that you know, later on, but, uh, I mean, there you go. You know, we have our edges and stuff. So let's go ahead and reset this and let's try it with a different shape really quick just so we can get the idea. Let's go ahead and make a sphere. And I'm actually going to make this in the perspective view. Okay, there we go. Great. I'm going to make that bigger. And uh, F4, so we can see what's going on here. And J, take that sucker off because I don't like that thing there. Go to our uh, command panel here. Go to modify panel. And great. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the faster way to uh, to convert this down to an editable mesh. Let's right click this sphere. Go down to convert to. This is, you've never right clicked anything really, I don't think. Uh, something that's interesting to you is that there's multiple ways to get to the move, rotate, and scale tool, and lots of things, okay? You can either come up here for move. Uh, so boom, 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 we move. Okay, great. Rotate, we can hit E. Great. Or for scale, um, move, rotate, and scale, we can right click, move, rotate, and scale. So you can, you know, just whatever works best for you. Me, I like using these shortcut keys. They are so, they just work so much better for me. I always have my hands on my keyboard. So, I mean, for some people, I know right clicking and doing this kind of stuff works fine for them. Me, I don't like doing this. Uh, I, I like using my keys, but hey, really up to you. Now, anyways, let's right click and convert to an editable mesh. Boom. Now, this is a mesh. Look in our command, our modify panel here. And if we bring this down, we can actually edit everything like we did on the box. You know, we can do it to any of these standard primitives or extended primitives anything that isn't a spline or a shape okay now something that you lose I said you lose something let me move this really quick I said you mo you lose something when you actually convert it down this way if you notice bring this back if you notice what we lose is actually the sphere thing down here so now we can't we can't resize it and edit the segments, which might be an important thing for you. Um, so you're locked in with those segments, unless you know Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. And there you go, sphere. Now we can edit our segments and such. You know, make it more smooth and whatnot. But if we right-click it, or l let me show you here. If I go to my modifier list and we go down to Edit Poly or Edit Mesh, rather, our sphere is still there, and we can edit all of our stuff. You know, we can make us a hemisphere, whatever. But if I right click this and go to convert to editable mesh, there we go. There's no more sphere there. We can't control that stuff. So that's what you lose out on. Um, it's, it's really up to you if you want to lose that or not. So, I mean, hey. Anyways, let's go into this edit, editable mesh vertex and start selecting some vertices and start modeling here. Look at this. Pretty cool. Uh, grab a few edges, bring that out. Uh, some faces, I guess. I don't really like using faces and polygons you know select some of these things so there you go we have now just totally torn this uh... we've taken this thing apart you know it just looks kinda crazy but uh... you can get kinda crazy with this okay so i mean just not you can model like that um, yeah you know what let me show you something really really simple that you can okay jerry all this is not really making sense to me so uh... whatever's no no that's in the next video i'm gonna i'll, I'll show you that right now modeling with uh, you know geometric shapes and our primitives gets even more fun in the next video which I'm gonna put off part 9 make sure you watch part 9 click it because it's gonna get a lot better this is actually where uh, things get interesting this is where the real modeling starts happening okay because you don't have much control what I showed you right now I mean yeah it's, it's pretty cool that you can move stuff around now on these shapes but uh, you really want to watch the next video. So again, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to me. Um, that would be great. That would be really great. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, click part nine because it gets interesting.